Hello and welcome to Dopa Productions. Today I will show you how to search for articles when you are doing literature review. Literature review is one of the most important initial steps to do in research because it informs you about what previous researchers have demonstrated and gives you an insight on how to formulate your hypothesis for the subject you are studying. For this purpose, you can use either Google Scholar or PubMed. Let's see how to do it on PubMed. First, you need to log in into your account, and if you don't have an account, create one using your email. Don't be tempted and try to search for your articles directly. Click on Advanced, and you will be directed to the Advanced Search page. Inside the first search bar, start typing keywords. Let's suppose we want to search about the efficacy of ribocyclob in breast cancer where ribocyclob is a drug in the class of CDK46 inhibitors. First, we type breast cancer and click on add. When the keyword is moved to the query box, we click on add to history and not search. You can see that there are thousands of articles about breast cancer. Then we type another keyword which is ribocyclob and then click on add, then on add to history. Now we have two keywords, so to narrow the search, we add both keywords with each other and add them with and. This way we narrow the search for articles and the smaller number of articles will result. Remember that we are trying to search for the efficacy of this drug in breast cancer, so we need to add the keyword efficacy. Repeat the same steps as before and then add the keyword efficacy to breast cancer and ribocyclob, and then click on add to history so you can see how many articles there are. So now we are left with 121 articles, which is much better than thousands of articles and not knowing where to begin. Click on the number and you will be directed to another page that will include all the articles that resulted from your narrowed search. In this page, you can even customize your search more and choose what type of articles you want and the range of publication near. Suppose now that we need all of them. To save your results, click on save at the top of the page. Select all the results from the selection and select the format of CSV, which means comma separated values. Then click on create file. It will be saved as a .csv file. When you open it, make sure to save it as .xlsx, which means in the format of an Excel sheet. First thing to do is to organize your table and remove the columns that you don't need, so it can look cleaner. When you finish formatting your table, select the first row and go to the data part of the Excel sheet and click on filter. Now you can filter the articles according to the publication year, the first author, and for any other metric you want. Also, if you wish to keep all the articles in your email or to email them directly to your colleagues, you can click on email at the top of the page. Type your email or the email of your colleague you want to send to, then select all results, and the format as summary, and then click on send email. Shortly you will receive the email with all the articles that resulted from your search, and you can flag it for later use. And that's how you search for articles on PubMed in a professional way for your literature review. If you like the video, don't forget to share it with your colleagues and subscribe to my channel for more educational videos like this. Thank you.